Hello everyone. So Jones Road has just introduced their new holiday sets. So there are a total of six different sets that are available and these do include a number of new shades as well as one new product. And so I thought that what I would do in this video is to talk about each of these sets and to demonstrate for you each of the shades that I already have on hand. And then in addition, Jones Road sent to me uh, one of their new lip kits. So this is in the shade Nudist and there is a new shade of of cool gloss in this set and so I will be demonstrating this on my face in the context of a full five minute makeup look. So it does seem like the holidays are pretty far away but in from what I have seen in the past Jones Road has a habit of selling out of these kits pretty fast so if you are interested in this then you may want to take a look at it and then possibly make a decision sooner rather than later. So first, a little bit of information about me. I am 60 years old and I have dry and sensitive skin. And one thing that I have realized is that there are certain ingredients that always do irritate my sensitive skin. And I know that these ingredients tend to be problems for many other people as well. So I just don't talk about products with these ingredients on this channel. And I am a really big fan of Jones Road and of its founder, Bobby Brown. And I have been buying products from them ever since the company launched four years ago. And I was one of the first members of their Facebook group, which is called JRB Roadies, which is just open to people who have purchased from the company. And I do think that that is a very nice Facebook group where people are very supportive of one another. And I think that most of the members of that group tend to be women that are over 40 or maybe even even a little bit older than that. So I do think that most of my subscribers found their way to my channel as a result of one of my Jones Road videos. And so I do tend to cover all of the new Jones Road releases as soon as they come out. And very recently, Jones Road has started to send me a few items in PR. And so I am really happy about that because that means that I can show you the items that they are releasing a bit earlier than otherwise when I would have to buy them. Now, in general, I do find that I tend to be reactive to a lot of different essential oils and other natural fragrances. And I know that not everyone that has really sensitive skin does tend to be reactive to the same essential oils, that this tends to be a little bit more like an allergy. And so I don't necessarily not talk about products that contain those ingredients on this channel. And it is the case that some of the Jones Road products do have ingredients that do tend to be irritating enough to my skin that I I don't want to use them very often, but there are a lot of other people out there that do uh, fine with all of those ingredients, and so I do uh, go ahead and talk about all of the products that they are offering on this channel. So what Jones Road is offering this holiday season is, first of all, they have two different mixed sets, and each of these includes one new Miracle Balm shade and that has one existing Miracle Balm shade and both of those are in the mini shades. And then there is one existing lip gloss shade and a mascara. And then there are two lip kits and they did send me one of those. And each of those includes a new lip gloss shade and it also includes an existing lipstick shade and an existing lip pencil shade. And then they have two new little palettes, and I'm kind of excited about these because they include uh, lip and cheek stick shades in there, and I am a really big fan of that formula. So there's two existing shades of the lip and cheek stick, and then there's also a new cream uh, highlighter product, which is called the Illuminator, and so I am looking forward to the potential of trying that one as well. And then the other kit that they are promoting at this time is called the Bobby 4.0 kit. And that was released a few weeks ago and it may sell out fairly soon. I'm not sure about that. And those particular kits actually include a gel eyeliner and a brush, which is a new product for Jones Road. So I am thinking that this will probably eventually be available on its own on their website, maybe in six months or so based on their previous releases. But so far it's only available in the Bobby 4.0 kit. And then the Bobby 4.0 kit also includes a mini Miracle Balm with the choice of two shades and a just a sec eyeshadow and a lippy stick lip balm. So let's talk first about the mixed sets. 
And so the first one is called the Beach Vacation Set and it costs $76. And what's included in this, first of all, there is a mini Miracle Balm in the shade Miami Beach. And this is an existing shade that they are describing as a warm peachy coral with subtle gold shimmer and sheen to buildable coverage for all skin tones. And then it also includes a mini Miracle Balm in a new shade, which is called Pink Champagne, which is described as a colorless balm with gold pearl highlight to give you a warm, shimmering glow. And it includes a cool gloss in the existing shade of Pink Gold Shimmer, and it includes a mascara. And personally, these are two shades that I really do like, both the Miami Beach Miracle Balm as well as the Pink Gold Shimmer Cool Gloss. And so I think that this could be really pretty and I am kind of looking forward to seeing this Pink Champagne shade. I think that could be an, an interesting addition to that particular look. And then it looks to me like the City Lights version of this is designed to be a little bit cooler. So what's included in here is first the existing shade of Magic Hour, which is described as a cool sheer bronze with silver shimmer for light to medium dark skin. And it also includes a new Miracle Balm, which is in a shade called Chic, which is described as a dusty mauve that can be used to provide an all over tint to give you a cool wintry glow. And then this one has the cool gloss shade of Rosie, which I actually happen to have as well. And then it also includes a mascara. And so also what I have swatched is all of the Miracle Balm shades that I happen to have and all of the cool gloss shades that I happen to have. So you can take a look at them in comparison to one another. And so in terms of the cost of this kit, the cool gloss is $22 and the mascara is $26. And so that means that you would be paying $28 total in order to get the two mini Miracle Balm shades that are included in this kit. And then for the lip palettes, there are again two different versions. So the first one is called Golden Pink. And this includes the lip and cheek shades of Mauve Rose, which is a dusty mauve, and English Rose, which is described by them as a rosy pink. And then in addition, this has one of those new highlighters in it, which is called the Illuminator. And this is in the shade Golden Pink, which is described as a warm champagne pink color. And in terms of the highlighter, they are saying that this is a highlighter with a sheer iridescent shimmer. And then the second kit is called the Golden Bronze Lip and Cheek Palette. And this one has, uh, in terms of lip and cheek products, it has Chocolate Mocha, which is a reddish brown, and Royal Plum, which is a berry plum. And then it also has an illuminator that is in the shade Golden Bronze. And I actually don't have that many of these Lip and Cheek products. I have four of them, but I only have one of the ones that is in these new palettes. Uh, so the one that I have is the chocolate mocha one. But I really am actually really interested in these palettes because of that. So I might actually buy both of these products and try them on. The only thing that I'm not sure about is whether or not this illuminator might include some kind of fragrance or essential oils. And they don't actually have the ingredients listed on the website yet. And so I am trying to get Jones Road to let me know that. But if they don't include fragrance of any kind, then I think I will definitely buy both of those and then demonstrate them for you. And then I'll talk about the Bobby 4.0 kit. And this one was released a few weeks ago, so I'm not sure how much longer it will be around, but it is still on the website as I am filming this video. And so this includes a gel eyeliner in the shade Brown, and it also includes an eyeliner brush. And this is a product that uh, Jones Road is not offering yet. I am thinking that they will probably be offering it fairly soon. Uh, but uh, Bobbi Brown actually invented the whole concept of the gel eyeliner when she was at the Bobbi Brown Company, and that is something that she was really known for, so I am kind of excited to see that she is moving towards making that part of the line at Jones Road as well. And then in addition in that product, it has a lippy stick that is in the shade Me, and a Just a Sec in the shade Cool Brown, and it has a Mini Miracle Balm in the shade of either Pinch Cheeks, which is described as a medium rosy pink with subtle multi-dimensional shimmer for fair to dark skin tones, or Cocoa Bronze, which is described as a deep plummy bronze for medium to deep skin tones. 
And so I do not have either of those Miracle Balm shades, but I will swatch for you the Just a Sec in Cool Brown. And then in terms of the lip kits, there are two of these available, and we can calculate how much this value is because all of these products are on the market. So lip pencils are usually $22, lip tints are usually $26, and a cool gloss is usually $22. So the total value here is $70, which means that if you're paying $54 for the kit, then you would be saving $16 on those products, and plus you would be getting this little free Tyvek bag. So the first lip kit is called Rosewood and this includes a cool gloss and a new shade which is called Pink Lilac and this is described as a sheer blue pink shade with monochromatic shimmer and then it also includes a lip tint in the shade Mocha Rose Shimmer which is described as a metallic brown and then it also includes a lip pencil in the shade Rosewood which is described as a medium reddish brown. And I do have this shade Mocha Rose Shimmer, and so I can show that to you. And in terms of the lip pencil, I don't have the shade Rosewood, but I do have a shade that is called Cognac. And on the Jones Road website, uh, Rosewood is described as a medium reddish brown, and Cognac is described as a deep reddish brown, and it does look like it is sort of a deeper version of the rosewood. So I tried putting that on my lips in combination with the Mocha Rose Shimmer. And so you can see what that looks like, and that is what I'm actually wearing today with a little bit of my new lip gloss over the top of it. And then for the lip kit that is called Nudist, this is the one that they sent to me. And so this includes a cool gloss in the shade Nudist, which they describe as a cool nude shade. And they have a lip tint in the shade Nude Mauve, which is a pale mauve. And then there is a lip pencil in the shade Nudist, which again is described as a cool nude. And so I am swatching all of the colors that I have. I think I have four lip pencil shades. And I'm swatching them against uh, the Mob 1990 lip pencil because that is the original color of the Max Spice that was originally a really popular product back in the 1990s. And I think that in a lot of cases, uh, with the exception of the Beach Vacation one, I think that most of these kits do seem to be leaning a little bit cooler than products have uh, more recently. So now let's take a look at the footage for this five minute makeup look that I did a little bit earlier today using that lip kit. So I started with the Jones Road Oil Free Moisturizer and this is a product that I actually do like quite a bit and I tend to use it in the morning and if I just wait a, a few minutes then I think it does provide a nice base to put makeup on top of it. And then I also am using the Jones Road Eye Cream and I think this is a nice light eye cream that again I can use during the day. And I do think that this provides a nice base, especially when I'm using the Jones Road face pencils, because those do tend to be a little bit dry under my eyes. And so if I put down a little bit of a light moisturizer first, then that can help them to go on a little bit more easily. And then I am putting on the Jones Road Neutralizer pencil under my eyes to cancel out the darkness there. And I am using the shade Light Peach, and I do think that that is working really well. And then in terms of the face pencils, which I'm using is just a spot concealer. The uh, one that I ended up uh, choosing is number five, and this is supposed to be a cool shade, but I think that most of these pencils run a little bit warm. And so therefore I uh, ended up using this particular shade, and so you might wanna be aware of that when you are choosing a shade uh, for yourself from this line. And then I decided to put on a little bit of the Jones Road Tinted Face Powder in the shade Pink. So I think that compared to a lot of the pink powders that are on the market, this is actually a fairly bright pink. And I think that what it does for me is that if I feel like my skin is looking a little bit sallow or yellow looking, then if I put just a tiny little bit of this powder sort of more diffusely all over my face, then it will look like I'm a little bit healthier and I've got just a little bit more blood flow to my whole face. And I think that that is nice because it's certainly not as bright as a blush would be, but it's adding a sort of a little bit overall look of a little more like I'm a little bit healthier, I think. 
And then I'm putting on the Jones Road Brow Pencil in the shade Ash, and I am a very, very big fan of these brow pencils because they are the one brow pencil that I feel like I can use on their own without having to put a brow gel over them that gives me a look that's actually fairly natural, like I actually have real brows and that they are not just drawn on. And I think that the reason for that is because these do include little fibers in them. And so it looks like I actually have more brow hairs and they're also just a little bit sticky. And so I have been really, really pr um, pleased with how this brow pencil has worked out. And it really only takes me a couple of seconds, maybe 30 seconds at most per brow. And then I'm done with it. And so that makes it a lot easier. And I think that for people who don't have any brows at all, this would really be a very, very good option that I would want to look into. And then in terms of the lip pencil, this is the shade again, Nudist, which is just described as a cool nude. And Bobby Brown tends to be a person who isn't really encouraging people to try to make their lips look bigger. Now, I think you could do that fairly well with this pencil, but I am just kind of tracing the line of my lips. But I think that in a lot of cases, we associate lip kits with trying to uh, fake having larger lips. And I kind of doubt that she's really trying to encourage people to do that because that's a little bit against her own uh, makeup style. She's trying to make people look more like themselves and not like somebody else. And then I have this shade of lip tint, and this is called Nude Mauve, and it is just a pale mauve. And I have really liked this shade uh, since I got it, maybe uh, six months or a year ago, and I think that it does look really nice with this pencil as well. And then in the footage, I'm just putting on some bronzer, and I thought that because this is such a, a delicate and sort of browny look that I would just use a bronzer is uh, my main blush so they make a their lightest shade of blush is called dusty rose and it is kind of a pinky brown shade that is actually very similar to that 1990 lip liner and so i am uh, putting that on my cheeks in really instead of a blush just to see how it looks and i do think it looks nice with this particular look and then I chose the uh, baby pink version of the Just A Sec eyeshadow. And this is described as light pink with multi-dimensional shimmer. And so I am just putting this on with my fingers. I think it does go on really easily. And I think it does look really nice on my eyes. And so Bobbi Brown herself is a really big fan of black mascara. And so she has this mascara with a fairly large brush. And this creates a fairly dramatic lash look. And I think this is a really good performing mascara, especially if you want to get a more sort of dramatic lash look. But for me, I found it to be slightly irritating. And so I haven't purchased this again after trying the initial one. And so in this look, I am substituting my favorite current mascara, which is called the I Want You Mascara from Westman Atelier. And I got this black shade in my new little holiday kit from Westman Atelier. And so I am using that as my primary mascara at this moment. And then in terms of cool gloss, I am using the new version of the cool gloss that she gave to me. And this is in the shade Nudist and it is described as a cool nude shade. And so I was really interested when I got this new shade, how it would compare to a shade that I already have, which is called Nude Beige. And what I do think is that the new shade is a little bit cooler than the Nude Beige. The Nude Beige does lean a little bit more orangey, I think. And this one is sort of more like a, uh, a pinky brown type of a color. And then I decided that this look was just a little bit too muted and then I needed just a tiny bit more color. So I got out the lip and cheek stick that uh, Jones Road had sent to me fairly recently. This is in the color bright pink and this is described as being a vibrant blue pink. And so I had never purchased that one because I thought that it might be a little too bright for me. But what I do feel like is especially if I use that as a little pop of color that it can be really pretty. And I am pretty happy with how this particular makeup look turned out. I think that it really doesn't look like I am wearing makeup or very much makeup, but I do think that I look a lot better than I did when I started out, so I'm really happy about that. 
so in the case of these products, I will talk a little bit about my experiences with the ingredients in them, so that in case you're interested in particularly fragrance issues, that you can have a pretty good sense of what's going on. So I have no problems at all with the lip and cheek sticks. I think the ingredients for those are really terrific, and I, uh, they don't have any fragrance ingredients, and they really are one of my favorite uh, products that I can use on my lips as well as on my cheeks, and there really are very few products out there that I feel like I can use on both. The cool glosses have a lot of peppermint in them, and they also have some menthol in them, so I think that possibly might make them a little bit plumping, although I'm not sure that that is the idea. And I think there's another uh, flavor in that as well. And I find them a little bit tingly on my lips. I think that might just be because of the menthol. I'm not sure that I'm reacting to them. I do really, really like peppermint, and I kind of like the wearing these because they do have that peppermint taste to them. They're a little bit messy, especially some of these brighter colors. That rosy one is a, a little bit on the messy side for my, my uh, taste, and I kind of do have to put it on with my finger, so that makes me a little disinclined to use it. And their most popular version of these cool glosses is actually the clear one, and so I think a lot of people that like peppermint and like a little bit of hydration on their lips are big fans of that one because I think that one would be a lot easier to put on than these tinted ones. And the Miracle Balm, that one has a whole lot of different essential oils in it. It has rose geranium oil and ginger root oil and uh, some citrus oils. And I think that those are in there to help it to be preserved. So when people are putting their fingers in the product over and over again, then it can get a lot of stuff in it. And so I think that having all of those preservatives in there, as well as phenoxyethanol, which is also a preservative, that that does keep it uh, safe to be used and okay to be used for a longer period of time. But that product, especially if I wear it just directly on my naked skin, that one does uh, tend to be a little bit irritating and to make my face itch a little bit. So I tend not to wear it too often, but I do really like the way it looks on my skin. And the lip pencils, I found that when I was first trying them out and I was wearing them really often, that those were just very slightly irritating to my lips. But I have found since then that if I wear them occasionally that they seem to be fine. So I'm not sure what it is about the lip pencils that are just very slightly irritating. And I do tend to be very, very sensitive to an awfully lot of things. So I think that just because I have found them to be very slightly irritating doesn't mean that other people have a hard time with them. It might be the benzyl alcohol. That would be my best guess. And the product from Jones Road that I really had the most problems with is actually the lippy sticks. So they have put a number of different uh, essential oils and natural processed fragrance in them. And I think that I just kind of got to be over my tolerance and they did irritate my lips uh, quite a bit when I was really testing them and wearing them over and over again over a period of days. So I think that uh, that is one to be a little bit careful of, but I did really like the way that they performed other than the fact that they were irritating for me. So if people are not reactive to those kinds of ingredients, then you might really like them. I do think that they are a really nice product other than that. And the lipsticks do not have any fragrance of any kind in them. And I have found that they have been absolutely terrific for me. And I have had some of these since the day that they came out, which I think was well over a year ago. And all of them have been holding up really well for me. They don't taste bad at all. They seem to be holding up really beautifully. And I really always do enjoy using those. And they are a nice size to throw in my small purse. So I do appreciate that as well. And they're just a really easygoing way to put a little bit of pretty color on my lips. So thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of the video. And as always, if you've had any experiences with Jones Road, then I'm always interested in hearing what those may be in the comments section. In addition, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, then I hope you will go ahead and do that. And Coco and I love you very much. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da.